the diameter of the wheels of a truck is 42 centimeters each. How many complete revolutions does each wheel make in 11 minutes when the truck is traveling at a speed of 36 kilometers per hour? Let's just decode this. What do we have to find out? We need to find out the number of revolutions made by each wheel. In what duration? For a duration of 11 minutes. What data do we have? We have two information. The truck is traveling at a speed of 36 kilometers per hour, which means each hour the truck is covering a distance of 36 kilometers. We'll probably want to write it in terms of either centimeters or in terms of meters to make sense of the calculation, right? Let's keep that in mind. So it's covering a distance of 36 kilometers each hour. That's what speed of 36 kilometers per hour means. The second information that we have is that the diameter of each wheel is equal to 42 centimeters. A good starting point for all of these questions, which entail either finding out the number of revolutions or the distance covered or the speed, one of these things you'll have to find out in these questions, is the first step is to compute the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution. The distance covered by the wheel in one revolution is the first step. You're going to be solving it in three steps. The distance covered in one revolution is nothing but the circumference of this circle. Circumference of the circle, what do we have information? We have data about the diameter of the circle, which is equal to 42 centimeters. So distance covered in one revolution is equal to the circumference. How do you compute circumference? The formula to compute the circumference is 2 pi r. You can also think of it as pi into d. 2 r is equal to diameter. We have data about diameter. Let's take pi to be equal to 22 by 7 times 42 will give us a distance covered in one revolution in terms of centimeters. So cancel the 7 with this 42 to leave us with a 6. So 132 centimeters is the distance covered by this particular wheel in one revolution. Let's keep this as it is. Move on to step 2. Step 2 what we are going to find out is the distance covered in 11 minutes. We know the distance covered in 60 minutes, right? 60 minutes time distance. 60 minutes which is 1 hour distance covered is equal to 36 kilometers. I'm just going to write it as 36,000 meters for the time being, right? We have the distance covered here in terms of centimeters. Let's keep that in mind. Some level we'll have to do a conversion of units later on. I'm doing the conversion here to a meter to make things a little easier to start with. I don't want to write too many zeros. So what we'll have to find out in 11 minutes, right? What is the distance that it is going to cover? So let's say it covers x, x meters in this 11 minutes. More the time, more the distance. So it's directly proportional. So x upon 36,000, x upon 36,000 will be equal to 11 upon 60. Compute the value of x by cross multiplying this. So x is equal to 36,000 into 11 divided by 60. This cancels out to leave us with a 6. 3600 by 6 is equal to 600. So x is equal to 6600 meters. So the distance covered by this wheel, total distance covered by this wheel in 11 minutes is equal to 6600 meters. What do we have to find out? We need to find out the number of revolutions. We know the total distance that it's covered in the time that we are interested in. And we know the distance that it covers in one revolution. So number of revolutions is a third step, which is equal to distance covered totally in 11 minutes. Distance totally in the time that we are interested in, which is 11 minutes, divided by distance per revolution, distance covered per revolution should give us the number of revolutions. Always keeping in mind the fact that we'll have to convert units from centimeters to meters or meters to centimeters. I'm going to convert the meter to centimeter. Total distance covered in 11 minutes is equal to 6600 meters. I'm writing it as 6600 times 100 centimeters divided by the distance covered in one revolution, which is equal to 132 centimeters. So we'll get the answer in terms of number of revolutions. 132, if you look at it, is 22 into 6. So 6 will cancel with 132 to leave us with a 22. This will leave us with a 1100. Both these numbers are cancelable with 22. This 22 and 1100, 22 times 50 is equal to 1100. So this becomes 50. 50 into 100 is the number of revolutions it does, which is equal to 5000 revolutions. So how many revolutions does this wheel, does each wheel make in 11 minutes? They make a total of 5000 revolutions. Each, each of these wheels will make 5000 complete revolutions in 11 minutes. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with CBC Class 10 Math Online Tuitions. It takes all of five minutes and less than three steps to get started. And second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. 
Spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.